Let's start with our pre-trip inspection. We're gonna start at the front of the vehicle. Our clearance lights at the top. They're tight and secure with no cracks, amber in color and clean. We have our student lights, student lights right up there. They're tight and secure, amber and red in color and clean. We have our windshield. Our windshield is tight and secure with no cracks, no illegal stickers, clean. And the seal is also tight and secure with no leaks. We have our wipers. Wipers are tight and secure with no cracks. The rubber is not broken. It's, it also has good tension. Uh, right over here, we have our turn signals. We got our turn signals right there and then right up there. Turn signals are tight and secure with no cracks. They got uh, amber in color and clean. Headlights, our headlights right there. Tight and secure with no cracks. They got high beams and low beams present and they're clean. We have our stop arm right here. Stop arm is tight and secure to the bumper, no cracks, no missing bolts. Then you wanna look under the bus and make sure there is no leaks. All right, next we'll do the passenger side engine compartment. When opening up the hood on the bus, you wanna make sure you lock that in right over there so the hood doesn't go flying off. So for our passenger side compartment, engine compartment, we have our coolant tank. The coolant tank is tight and secure with no cracks, no leaks. It's got a full proper level and the cap is tight and secure. We have our alternator. The alternator is tight and secure with no cracks. It's belt driven. The belt is tight and secure with no cracks and no more than three quarter inch play. And the wire is also tight and secure and in good condition. So you're gonna wanna follow your water coolant tank right here. We follow this hose down into the water pump. And the water pump is tight and secure with no cracks, no leaks. It's belt driven. See, it's belt driven. And the belt is tight and secure with no cracks and no more than three quarter inch play. All of our hoses are tight and secure with no damages, no leaks, with the clamps tight and secure. Our wires, we got our wires, our wires. The wires are tight and secure with no cuts and in good condition. Our air compressor, just gonna be back there. The air compressor is tight and secure with no cracks, no leaks. It is gear driven. All right, so we're gonna find our power steering tank. Power steering tank should be right there. Power steering tank is tight, secure, with no cracks, no leaks. It's got a full level and also has the cap, nice, tight, and secure. Power steering pump. You're gonna follow this hose right there down to the power steering pump, which will be right there, right under the air compressor. So the power steering pump is tight and secure with no cracks, no leaks, and it is also gear driven. All right, let's back up and let's talk about the steering components. So for the steering components, we have our steering linkages. We got one, we got two, three, and then four back there. And all of the steering linkages, those four bars are tight secure with no cracks, no illegal welds, no missing bolts. So we got our steering box right here. This is our steering box. Steering box is tight and secured to the frame. It's got no cracks, no leaks on the hose, and no missing bolts. Then we have our castle nuts. We got a castle nut right here. We got a castle nut right here. We got a castle nut right there. And they're all tight secure with no cracks, and they also have their cotter pins. talk about the front axle suspension for our front axle suspension we have our supports there's our supports right there they're tight and secured to the frame there's the front support and if I come back over here then you can see the back support right there all right they're tight secured to the frame with no cracks no illegal welds no missing bolts follow our supports and we got our leaf springs the leaf springs are tight secure with no cracks no missing springs this is our U-bolt. The U-bolt is tight, secure, no cracks, no missing bolts. 
And then right over here, this is our shock absorber. The shock absorber is tight, secured to frame, no cracks, no leaks, no missing bolts. All right, let's back up and talk about our uh, brake system. For the brake system, we have our air hose. The air hose is tight, secure, no cracks, no leaks, and the clamps are tight and secure. Our air chamber, follow the air hose right to the air chamber. Air chamber is tight, secure. It's got no cracks, no leaks, and the clamps are tight and secure. All right, right behind the air chamber, we have our slack adjuster. The slack adjuster is tight, secure, no cracks, no damage, and the push rod has no more than one inch play with pins. All right, down here is our brake drum. We have our brake drum. It's tight, secure, with no cracks, no illegal welds, no oil, no grease. We got our brake shoes. The brake shoes are tight, secure, no cracks, and they're not dangerously thin. Right, we'll come back out. Let's talk about our wheel, or our front tire. Minimum thread depth, no more than four thirty seconds of an inch. There's no recaps, no cuts, no bubbles. Our air pressure should be around 100 PSI. To check the air pressure, you check it right here at the valve stem. Now the valve stem should be tight, secure, with no cracks, no leaks, with the cap tight and secure. You should also have your rims. Your rims are tight, secure, with no cracks, no rust, no illegal welds, and no illegal holes. Right here you have your lug nuts. Your lug nuts are tight, secure, with no cracks, no rust, no missing nuts. And you also have your center seal, your hub seal. It's tight, secure, no cracks, no leaks, and no missing bolts. And next, we'll do the side of the vehicle. For the side of the vehicle, let's start at the top. We have our clearance lights. They're tight, secure, no cracks. There's amber and red in color and clean. We have our mirrors. The mirrors are tight, secure, no cracks, no legal stickers, they're adjusted and they're clean. We have our window. Our, our windows are tight, secure, and closed. The glass is not cracked, and it's clean. We have our stop sign. The stop sign is tight, secure, no cracks, no missing bolts. It's red in color, and it's clean. Next to our stop sign, we have our turn signal. All right, we got our turn signals on the side. They are tight, secure, no cracks, amber in color, and clean. And you wanna look for your reflectors right over here. See your reflectors? They're tight, secure, proper color, visible, clean. All right, you got an amber in the front and you got red in the back. All right, next we're gonna do under the view. For under the vehicle, we have our muffler. It's tight, secured to frame with no cracks, no leaks, no illegal holes. Next to our muffler, we should have our drive shaft. The drive shaft is tight, secure with no cracks, no bends, no illegal welds. Up under there, we have our frame. Our frame is tight, secure with no cracks, no bends, no illegal welds, no illegal holes, and no missing bolts. And then, right over there, we have our cross member. All right, our cross member is tight, secure, no illegal holes, no illegal welds with original holes. Move to the back axle. All right, for the rear axle, we have our supports. There's the one in the front, and then we have the one in the back. Our supports are tight, secured to frame, with no cracks, no illegal welds, no missing bolts. Our leaf springs, there's our leaf springs. They're tight, secure, no cracks, no missing springs. And our U-bolt should be down in there. Our U-bolt is tight, secure, no cracks, no missing bolts. And if we look back here, we'll be able to see our shock absorbers. Uh, you can see it on the other side over there. The shock absorber is tight, secure to frame, no cracks, no leaks, no missing bolts. All right, let's talk about the rear brake system. Uh, right there you can see our hose. The hose is tight and secure. The air hose, tight 
tight and secure with no cracks, no leaks, with the clamps tight and secure. We got our double air chambers. The double air chambers are tight and secure, no cracks, no damage, with clamps tight and secure. Let's see if I can uh, see the slack adjuster over here. All right, behind the double air chambers back there, you'll see the slack adjuster. The slack adjuster is tight, secure, with no cracks, no damage in the push rod, no more than one inch play with pins. And behind that will be the brake release. All right, then over there, you can see the brake drums on the wheel. The brake drums are tight, secure, with no cracks, no illegal welds, no oil, and no grease. And then, we have our brake shoes. The brake shoes are tight, secure, with no cracks, and they're not dangerously thin. For the rear tire, we have a minimum thread depth of 232 inches. There's no recaps, no cuts, no bubbles. The air pressure should be around 100 PSI. And to check that, you'll need an air gauge to check the tire pressure. Since it's the rear, there should also be a three inch gap between the tires. They should be clean, clear of debris. All right, you want to check your air pressure at your valve stem over here. Your valve stem should be tight and secure with no cracks, no leaks, and a cap tight and secure. Your rims are tight and secure with no cracks, no rust, no illegal welds, and no illegal holes. <clears throat> Back here is your lug nuts. The lug nuts are tight and secure with no cracks, no rust, and no missing nuts. Then for the back, you have your axle seal. It's gonna be tight, secure, with no cracks, no leaks, and no missing nuts. For the back or rear of the vehicle, we have our clearance lights up at the top. They're tight, secure, with no cracks. They're red in color and clean. Then we have our student lights right there up at the top. Our student lights are tight, secure, with no cracks. They're amber and red in color and clean. We have our emergency door. The emergency door should be tight, secure, no cracks. The door should open and close properly and it should have no missing hinges. So for our lights, we have our signal lights, we have our brake lights, we have our reverse lights, and then we also have our plate lights. And they're all tight, secure, with no cracks, proper color, and clean. For our bumper, the bumper should be tight, secure, with no cracks, no oil, no grease, and clean. And the reflectors should be tight, secure, and they should be visible. All right, let's conclude our pre-inspection. Come over here to our fuel tank. Here it is. Our fuel tank is tight, secure to the frame. It's got no cracks, no leaks, and a cap that is tight and secure. This is our fuel tank right here. And the last thing you want to talk about, and also the first thing you want to talk about, would be our door. All right, so the door is tight and secure. It's got no damage to the door. It appears to open and close. It's got no missing hinges and the glass is clean with no cracks and the rubber seal is in good condition with no cuts. Right, that'll be our door. Next let's talk about passenger safety. So for passenger safety, <laughs> we have our door. The door is tight, secure. It's got no damage to the door. It opens and closes. It has no missing hinges. The glass is clean with no cracks and the rubber seal is in good condition with no cuts. All right, that's our door. We have our steps. The steps are tight and secured to the frame with no cracks, no oil, no grease, and they're clean. We have our step light right here. Step light should be tight, secure, proper color, no cracks, and clean. We have our handle. The handle should be tight, secure, no cracks, no bends, no missing bolts. All right, at this point, you'd want to get the key from the examiner. You want to put the key in the ignition right here, turn the ignition on so you could check the emergency alarms. All right, when checking the emergency alarms, you want to come check every single seat and touch every seat. Make sure they're all tight, secure, with no cracks. 
They got no damages. They got no missing bolts. They're clean. So you want to slap your hands on every single one of these seats and make sure they're all tight, secure, no cracks, no damage to the seats. That there's no debris in the aisles. Alright, it's clean of debris. Everything looks clean, tight, and secure, and you want to touch every single seat. Alright, before opening up the emergency exit, you want to check for traffic both ways. You want to look for traffic, and you'll come down here, pull this up to open it up, and with the key in the ignition, the alarm should be going off. So tell the examiner the alarm is working. After that, you want to tell the examiner I have how many emergency exits? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven emergency exits in this bus. And you'd want to come up to all of them and open them up, make sure they're working, make sure the alarms are working. Open these up, make sure the alarms are working. Check the emergency exits on the roof. You already did the back. Do the front two and the front roof and make sure all the alarms are working. All right, you continue with your passenger safety. You come over here to the driver's seat. Talk about how the <clears throat> seat belt is tight, secure with no cuts. It works properly. You wanna point out some other passenger safety. You have your fire extinguisher. It is up to date and full. You have your reflector triangles. They're not broken, they're clean, they work properly. You should have a spare box of fuses in there. Your fuses should be full. You should have an extra set of fuses. Your first aid and bodily fluid kit should be up to date and full. Right, after pointing out all of the passenger safety right over here, you want to tell the examiner I'm going to do a safe start now. In order to do the safe start, you have to pull the parking brake, make sure the gear is in neutral, and then you want to start the key in the ignition. Once you start the key in the ignition, all of your gauges should illuminate and appear. You should see all of your gauges. You want to make sure your oil pressure is 20 to 60 in 5 seconds. You should have no more than 180 degrees for your water temperature. Your voltmeter should be between 12 and 14. All right, you wanna see your fuel gauge is between half to full. And then your air pressure gauges, you wanna make sure that they're between 120 and 140 PSI. So the governor should cut off between 120 and 140 PSI. And in order to do that, you're gonna to have to build pressure by pushing down on the accelerator. And when you do that, the air pressure will build up and then you'll listen for the governor to cut off between 120 and 140 PSI. So you build up the air pressure. Once the governor cuts off, you say, examiner, governor cut off 120, 140 PSI. Let me tell you a little bit more about my dashboard. All right, so for the dashboard, you have <clears throat> your lights right over here. You have your high beams. All right, you wanna make sure your high beams are working. You got your left turn signal. Make sure your left turn signal is working. Your right turn signal, make sure that's working. All right, so after you make sure that your left and right turn signal is working, you have your emergency, which this is your emergency right here. Make sure your emergency hazards are working. You got your city horn. Make sure your city horn's working. You got your wipers right here. Make sure those are working. You pull this to do the wiper fluid. Make sure that's working. Now over here you have your lights, some more lights. You got your strobe light right here. Click that, you indicate that your strobe light is indeed working. You have your cabin lights right here. You hit that, turn on your cabin lights. Make sure your cabin lights are working. You have a fan right here. Click your fan. Make sure your fan is working. Crank this, and then you have your driver's side defrost. All right, your driver's side defrost is working. And you're gonna check your windshield defrost. Make sure your windshield defrost is working. All right, and then last, you wanna hit your student lights, which are right here. Click that, and your student lights should pop out on the side. You wanna look and make sure your stop arm is working in the front. Then you wanna make sure your stop sign is working. And then you look at your mirror, out front and you can see that your student lights are also working. 
All right, after making sure all of your dashboard lights work, you wanna talk about uh, visibility. For visibility, your windshield is tight, secure, with no cracks, no illegal stickers, and clean. Your wipers are tight, secure, with no cracks, good tension, and the rubber is not broken. Your mirrors are also tight, secure, no illegal stickers, adjusted, and clean. And then your student mirror right here is tight, secure. It's got no cracks, no illegal stickers. It's adjusted and clean. All right, now that you've done visibility, talked about your gauges and everything, we're gonna go ahead and do our lab test. Now you say, Inspector, my governor is cut off between 120 to 140 PSI. I'm ready to do my lab test. Turn the ignition off. Excuse me, turn the engine off. Turn the ignition on. Push the valve and tell the examiner. First test I'm gonna do is test for leaks. I'm gonna hold my foot down on the brake for one minute and I shouldn't lose more than three PSI. So I'll take out my clock and I'll start for one minute and tell the examiner I'm starting my uh, leaks test now. One minute goes by. All right, one minute is up. Examiner, see I have no leaks. I did not lose more than three PSI in one minute. The next test I'm going to do is my alarm test. I'll fan on the brake until I hear the alarm come on around 55 PSI. So go ahead and fan on the brake and then listen for the alarm. Once the alarm comes on, oh, examiner, I see and I hear that the alarm is working. The next test that I'll do is my valve test. My valve should activate between 40 and 20 PSI. So I'll go ahead and fan on the brake again until my valve activates. So you'll fan on the brake and the valve should pop out between 40 and 20 PSI. As soon as the valve pops out, you say, examiner, my valve works. Then you take the keys out of the ignition, make sure everything is off completely, hand the keys over to the examiner, say, examiner, I've completed my lab test.